What's up guys, my name's Joe, and it's happened. Check it out, full on mullet territory, or should I say it's mostly mullet. I guess it's a bit of a low fade into a mullet, so not as drastic as some of the mullets that you may have seen out there, but that was exactly the point and what I was trying to go for. A mullet, but a little bit more toned down. You can't get that far away from edgy though when you're dealing with the mullet. So we still got some edge, but it's a little bit more classy. Okay. Make myself feel good with my haircut. Anyways, the video of this haircut and style from Mr. Byron, fantastic hairdresser. Uh, uh, drop last week so if you missed that is <laughs> <laughs> one of these sides. Today though, I know it looks like a mess right now, but we're gonna walk you through it, do a nice little simple hairstyle tutorial. Without further ado, let's style the mullet. Maybe some inspiration for anyone else out there who might be thinking about trying out the same. First thing is first, oh, brand new bottle of cloud control. My hair products might change, my techniques might change, but this, it never changes. Almost always the first thing to go in my hair. New bottle's always a little stiffer, so uh, I would say I was about maybe five drops. My Mileage may vary depending on your hair's thickness. Cloud control, like I say every time, is fantastic for leaving your hair with all day hydration, as well as offering some good control over frizz and flyaways, and generally helping you shape your hair in the direction that you want it to go to. So it's a fantastic pre-styling process. Got the health, got the foundation, got the control. That's what it's all about. Next up, I've been switching it back and forth between Original and Fit Sample Pomade as my pre-styler. Currently, Original is out of stock, so I wanna show you guys with Fit Sample. Um, um, I've been using this, to be honest, probably a little bit more frequently at the moment. It just helps really tame my thick hair. But I love Original equally, okay? They're both my children. You can't you can't share more love towards one than they both work really well, okay? What do you know, another brand new jar of Bloom On product. We are well stocked today. All we're doing here is pretty standard procedure. Taking a scoop, emulsifying it, make sure you spread it throughout both hands evenly, and then throw it all over there. Since your hair is wet, it usually makes the application process nice and easy, so you just want to coat your hair follicles thoroughly from the roots to the tips, getting everything covered in product. Fit Sample is definitely one of those that I would recommend for you guys with the with hair on the thicker side. It does a really good job at controlling thick hair. If your hair is on, you know, the more normal to finer side, we've definitely got Ascend Volume Cream, which I don't have in front of me, but it looks like this. Definitely worth it. And then of course, look, it's really good. And then Original is one of those that's just a fantastic all-rounder for any hair type. Honestly, it's just dependent on how much you use. So we got a, we got a lot of options, what can I say? From here, we're gonna take a paddle brush. This one's getting kind of gross. I don't really want to show it to you. I need to get a new one pretty soon. But uh, you guys may have heard me say before, my hair usually grows from this way to this way. So what I'm going to do is comb it mostly in the opposite direction. This is what I've been doing recently. Going to be styling it mostly in the opposite direction. But we've got a little trick up our sleeve, which I'll show you in a second. So it is mostly back, but a slight diagonal from the left to the right, as opposed to my hair growing from the right to the left. So it's back, slight diagonal to the opposite direction. And it's going to it's a bit poofy, so it's all gonna get taken care of. Next, time to use the blow dryer. I'm stuck with this guy, unfortunately. Our Dyson broke, literally, I think the day before yesterday. Uh, so until we can get that repaired or replaced, stuck with an old school blow dryer, but hey, we're gonna make it work. I'm sure most of you guys actually have something like this. So hey, maybe this is a blessing in disguise. You can see it work on me and replicate it on yourself. With these slightly cheaper blow dryers, I like using the medium heat setting. The hot setting can just get really hot, so something to keep in mind. So a lot of this blow drying technique is borrowed from my previous uh, styling tutorials, a little bit of changes here and there as always, a little bit of adapting, but I'm starting out by blow drying the right side of my head pretty much straight back. I'm using the pretty standard flat wrap technique for this, which I'll be doing on both sides of my head. So the main thing here is just taking your paddle brush and following the blow dryer behind your combing pattern. Paddle brush, by the way, one of my favorite brushes for sure. If you don't have one, I will have one linked down below in the description if you want to pick one up. Once I'm done with my right, I'm switching over to my left, doing pretty much the same thing, but as you can see I'm blow drying my hair in kind of that diagonal pattern going from the left to the right but still pushing it back uh, anything that you do during this time while your hair is still wet to dry you have a lot of control over so that's why I really like the flat wrap technique to just help me control my hair in the best way possible once the right and the left is dry switching to the top I just want to pad this down a little bit so it doesn't stick up I'm not gonna be spending too much time up here just wanting my hair to know that hey I want you to stay down and then switching over to the fringe I'm blow drying this kind of down onto my forehead because 
this is gonna help really set in that volume. And it's a type of volume that doesn't stick backwards. If you sometimes blow dry your hair, you might find that your hair is left behind your forehead. So by blow drying it down, you're gonna get a nice curvature when you push it back up. Just doing that for a little bit, then switching over to my hands, building in a little bit of texture with my fingers. And then all that's left is the back. We gotta deal with the actual mullet aspect of this mullet hairstyle. And all I'm doing is hitting it with a blow dryer. No real purpose here in terms of control or direction. Just trying to air dry it as best I can. Once that is all done, I'm switching over to cold air just to set and finish my hairstyle into place. Again, starting on the right side, just going over this about 20 seconds maybe with cold air, you can get nice and close. Doing the same thing on the left side, uh, pushing those two bits into place because the right and the left, you know, sometimes hair likes to stick out. So I like to give it some extra love, make sure it stays in place on both the right and the left. And then I'll just use my fingers again, a little bit of texture in the fringe, make sure that that's sticking up nice and tall. And boom, that brings us to here. Towards the beginning of this video, I said I got a little trick up my sleeve and that's what I'm prepared to share with you now. You kind of got two options at this point. You can either rock it like this, which is the way that we blow dried it. But as you can see, we are definitely getting a lot of volume if you check out this side and this side. And don't worry, no matter what, there's gonna be a lot of volume here with this hairstyle, at least with my hair type. But what we can do to counteract that a little bit, you know, we blow dried against the grain of the way my hair naturally grows. So even though I blow dried it this way, since my hair naturally grows this way, it's not gonna be too hard to tell it to go back in that direction. So all we gotta do is take some of this, fold it back over, and you can automatically see, this is before I've put a finishing product in, so we'll demonstrate this even more. And that kind of just balances both sides out a little bit. We got it going back this way, Way, but now a nice little arch over this way. It's still voluminous, but it's a little bit more controlled. Give you a little bit of a, a rotation right there. To finish this up, my hair, like I always say, it's on the thicker side, but it's pretty lightweight right now. It just got a haircut. It's not feeling too heavy. I'm going in with some Monarch matte paste to kick it off, to finish it off, should I say. This one, unfortunately, is not new, almost finished. Again, making sure to emulsify completely in your hands. Uh, Monarch matte paste is such an easy product to break down and apply. It's one of the biggest benefits. We're gonna start from the back and work our way to the front. Of course, since we've got the mullet, we don't wanna forget about the mullet aspect of this hairstyle. Just because you got a mullet and you can't see it all that often doesn't mean it is not there. And I think if you're gonna have a mullet, you might as well throw some texture in there. Just mess with your hair a little bit, push it around, you can see immediately Immediately, all the texture that Monarch is adding into my hair. It's really just tying it all together, throwing the, the work of art into place. And that leaves us with this. I feel like this is one of those hairstyles where, you know, you just want to be a little bit messy with it. You got a mullet at the end of the day. You're trying to say you don't, you don't, you don't care, man. I got a mullet. I don't care. You know, so, so just remember that, I guess. I'm curious to know what you guys think of the new hairstyle that I'm rocking, to be honest. I mean, I, I kind of like it right now. I just feel like it's been time for some change. I'm at that stage in life where I want to just try out something different. So a bit of a low fade mullet. As far as mullets go, it's not the most drastic thing in the world. I still think it looks pretty clean, but it definitely looks different at the same time. So drop a comment. Uh, are you getting the mullet? You should get the mullet, man. Don't leave me hanging. I got I got this because because I wanted you guys to get it. Okay, so you get a mullet, I get a mullet, we all get mullet. So mullet takeover 2021. Thank you guys for watching. Hope that you found this helpful, uh, informative, educational, all that good stuff. If you're new, click that subscribe button. Hit that like button. That goes for if you're new or old. And as always, we'll see everybody next time.